So you can predict who will be winning. Is it going to be Kloop or is it going to be enemy scores? This is, by the way, round two now. Let's check if it's the same on the bracket. Yeah, winners round two. That is correct. And uh, bracket is continuing slowly. But let's go into into the game. Here we go. We are loading the map. I have to change the scores as well. Zero here. Right, zero, zero. That is correct. Remember, you can contribute for free with the code when you have time. Uh, and uh, and yeah. So we will get started right now with this uh, round two, Prepare first map, Kloop versus enemy scores. Round begins in three, two. Alrighty, one. let's get started. Fight. Loop actually playing Ranger and not Clutch, and we have enemy scores playing Eisen on this map. So I think Eisen is a pretty good pick. So is Ranger. I hate playing against Eisen because of the turret. I'm having a lot of trouble with it. But let's see how Kloop can handle enemy scores turret placements. This is the first damage dealt here. Meanwhile, ah, enemy scores unable to do anything at the moment. The turret takes too long to turn around. Doesn't even get to shoot. And let's see. Here we go. The rails are coming out of Kloop. He's already one frag in the lead. And we go another confrontation. Turret comes in first. Loop is ignoring it. He shouldn't be doing that. All right, he takes it now. Uh, enemy scores does not really take advantage of this distraction. He did place into the room. And he actually backed away too early there. He does show a lot of respect to Kloop, even without the clutch. He's a very good player. And no damage dealt here. Kloop still chasing directly. The enemy scores. I don't know what he was thinking. He wasn't uh, shooting, that's for sure. And uh, I don't know. I guess he was trying to hide and see. Is Kloop just gonna go away? Am I gonna get away with my life? But no. Anyways, enemy scores, though, was able to pick up the mega. Kloop now gets the heavy. And he does uh, take less damage from rocket jumps. Because he has picked a ranger. Luke now being very quiet. Oh, so rails are coming out. Enemy scores unable to predict any. Uh, to predict, I say, to connect anything. actually check out enemy scores what is he doing he is overstacked on health so he is he is in the in the game here the turret also doing a great job and here we go his first frag enemy scores there we go has fragged Kloop here Kloop is the higher seed enemy scores is standing his ground here and already has one frag on the board Just get rocketed here through the telly. This time he shoots right away. Good damage. Really good damage. But Kloop, a little bit more stack there. And very good aim. 3 to 1 now. So turret again placed. Heavy was secured. The die orb is coming in and Kloop so aggressive, getting another frag here. He is super overstacked as well. Did just kill the turret. He did hear Eisen. Here's him again. Right, but Eisen was just kind of faking that jump pad is now going away. And Mega again for Kloop. He's still overstacked because no fight happened in between items. 
Heavy is also here, and uh, Eisen is just nowhere to this to be seen. And he does damage. That's good. He is punishing. This is a very challenging match for him. But ah, unfortunately, nothing he could do there. Gloop just too strong, very aggressive here, and enemy scores could not handle that aggression. getting also the other major item no chance for enemy scores and he receives another rail good damage there he did place his turret but the turret is just ready too late maybe he should have gone back a bit a bit again now actually does get the mega is he gonna get a frag with the nails he won't unbelievable he gets cloop low to 30 health he rocket jumps then has two health left. That was pretty calculated. Oh wow, with the die orb. Just look at Kloop. He's going crazy here. Very nicely done. And here we go. Enemy scores coming in. Getting his second frag on the board. 9 to 2. Once again, we have ah. not enough here by enemy scores. He's gonna lose his life one more time. He's right now available. He has to be careful. Loop is actually coming right around the corner. He's gonna be chasing him. Good telly, good damage. Just not enough. Loop at a better position because he had all the items beforehand. The mega also now lost on. I think enemy scores should know. No, he's trying to defend the mecha here. He's now trying to run away. He only has four health. Ah, and through the teleport he gets railed there. Ah, unfortunate. 12 to 2 in scores already. there was bounced up Rook scores was actually crouching there to I don't know it's not working for stabilizing your gun in quick maybe go another quick frag actually for Kaloob position was given away there by the turret Eisen waiting for his opponent very ah uh, God, he was actually dire orb there, telefrag with the orb directly. He scores just trying to run away. Look <laughs> coming in. Just collecting all these frags. He knows he's at the advantage. And he knows he has scared enemy scores. Enemy scores is holding on. He's not gonna give up. Alrighty, let's see. Kloop is actually a nice rocket there by enemy scores. Kloop was uh, bounced up and now they're stack wise pretty even. They're meeting again. Who has the better weapon? Sure. What? All right, it was uh, Kloop there. <laughs> that looked a little bit weird there from the pers uh, spectator view. It looked like they both just froze. Ah, but here we go. Not enough. Ranger was almost dead, but enemy scores a little bit unlucky there as well. He could have decided that last fight for himself, but no. This time, though, he finds the rockets, deals all the damage, and also gets a reward here, the heavy. That's good for him. But stack-wise, they are even again. New scores trying to camp a little bit. 
Where is Kloop? He is right here charging in. Look at that LT. It just kept going and going, tickling and tickling, melting. Enemy scores down. One minute warning. The turret here also helping. The group knows he has already won. There's no need to play carefully anymore. And it will be quite decisive here, this last score that we're having. 30 seconds left. It's 18 to 3, actually. Club was just picking up all of these. <laughs> all of these frags, but this time it was enemy scores. Club did bump his head as he rocket jumped and then fell right into the aim of enemy scores. Oh, well, they're fighting again in this small cube here. That's crazy. We have Kloop getting another frag. And score will probably be 19 to 4. Let's see, unless Kloop can make something happen. He tried to die a orb, it's not gonna work. You lose. This is gonna be GG for now. So first point here for Mr. Kloop on the blue side. Let's check out the picks and bans one more time. Alright, so here are the picks and bands. We have seen Ranger versus uh, Eisen. The Ranger here, Kloop, he is already. He also has a lot more um, uh, ELO points than enemy scores here. But uh, yeah, that's just how it is. So please remember to contribute. By the way, there's 40 seconds left on predicting who's gonna win. Everybody did vote that Kloop. Yes, I think that will be correct as well, but let's see. So I'll show you once more time how to contribute, so pay attention right here. You can visit the Match Arena page for our event and contribute in many different ways. 1. Free coupon. Click Contribute, enter the specified coupon code to contribute a predetermined amount of money to the prize pool. 2. Free sponsor quests. On the right side of the screen are various actions supported by sponsors, including retweets, Twitter follows, surveys, among other things. Click into these boxes to complete the action and add the attached prize contribution to the pool free of charge. 3. Marketplace. Products are available in our marketplace, which also contribute to the fundraising pool. Be sure to check out the variety of apparel and collectibles, as well as other unique items. 4. Donate. Clicking on the Contribute button, you're able to add funds to your Match Arena wallet and then directly contribute them to the fundraiser page. Thanks for supporting your event with Match Arena. All right, so we are loading into this second map. It is Blood Covenant now. Let's see what champions they have picked. Maybe we will see a clutch. So the price pool right now is at $60 already. So keep using those coupon codes and make some uh, sponsor quests. Maybe buy one of my uh, cute little figures. Yesterday we made a BJ and a Eisen. You can't really see because of the green screen. Prepare but to fight. We also have two new ones. They're not red in. So we have lots of now other figures. And Three. let's go. One. Fight. All right, here we go. Let's get started. We have Gloop actually playing a slash. And enemy scores is playing the Knicks. So two lights, actually. Last time we had two mediums, Ranger and Eisen. Gloop also playing an amazing crowd slider. We're seeing more sights from Gloop now. I guess he is feeling quite confident. Versus enemy scores. If he continues in the upper bracket, we will see what he will be playing then. Versus, uh, well, probably higher skilled opponent as it is further into the bracket. But for now, he is actually playing the slash. Remember, he can pick whatever he wants. He could play three times clutch. But he has chosen the slash here. Right now, just some damage is being exchanged. Blue very much overstacked. He did pick up the mega. Plasma trail is about to be up, and they might meet here on bridge. No. Now Nyx actually stealing away the heavy. Is she gonna survive it though? No, she's not with 50 health. Gloop survives. Already getting some more bubbles. And 
And he does have his first frag on the board now. One to zero versus enemy scores. Again, just frying that Nyx to death. Unfortunate here for enemy scores. He has a quite aggressive player here in Kloop. At least on this map, also on the last one. Nyx had only just uh, respawned, but she did pick up the heavy. Because light champions respawn with uh, only health. No points of armor. Let's see. Slash here is hunting her prey. Very nice aim there on that squishy champion Nyx. Go. She flips the opponent off. Goes fast to the Mega. Already punished. Very good by enemy scores. He has to let Kloop know that he is still in here. And he is competing and he's taking this seriously. Alright, so... Ah, enemy scores. Unfortunate. Tried to trick Kloop a little bit, but it did not work. Already stealing away that heavy. Ghost walk here. Perfectly red. And finds him right here. Steals away the heavy, which is good. But it's not good enough if your opponent already has four frags now in the lead. Let's do check out enemy scores. Let's see, can he also make good use of his passive, the wall jump? He tried to, but uh, Kloop might just be a different caliber. A little bit too much to take, maybe. But for enemy scores, this is great practice. Having this chance to play against a higher skilled player. Loop did not, did him the, did not do him the favor of going past there. Enemy scores needs to get some more rocket actually. Alright, he has them. Oh, perfect! Look at that combo! Enemy scores! Here we go! That's how you gotta do it in here. Light champions don't spawn with any armor or so. Right, he uses the ghost walk wisely, now has to wait anyway. Could have maybe slipped through there, but it was just too late. Mecha actually up in five seconds. Enemy scores does not realize, I believe. Unfortunately, let's hope he turns around again when he goes through the telly. Yes, he sees it. Okay. But Slash is already here. He is hurting the Nyx badly. She already lost all of that Mecha. Ah, Clue, but it's too fast for enemy scores right now. They're gonna meet again here probably, so Nyx only just respawned. She has no armor. Kloop has full natural stack. Now even overstack thanks to that heavy pickup. But enemy scores should try to go somewhere with armor. He has to use his ghost walk. Kloop just so aggressive. And this time Kloop does not read the Nyx correctly. He just fell back to the Mega actually. Five minutes are about to be over. And we do have a four score difference. Five to one. It's two light champions, Slash versus Nyx on the second map. Blood Covenant. Five minute warning. Here we go. Enemy scores at least has full natural stack, which means only 75 armor already. Some of it was deleted by that rocket. Kloop is dominant here. <sighs> Right, full natural stack again for our squishy girl. But Slash is also on her way to victory here. And she's going fast. Good rocket. Is Nyx gonna go up? No, she has her ghost walk though. Yeah. We'll use it right now. Oh, what? The feet of Slash! She got stuck on the feet of Slash and got bounced down and that gave her the disadvantage and she dies. Ah, unfortunate. Enemy scores tried to make a frag happen here. It was pretty aggressive and it didn't work out and Kloop immediately punishes. Six to one now. Let's actually, yeah, let's do check out Kloop once again. Meeting right here. He has great rails even on the light champions. 
thought that Nyx was using the ghost walk, but he was wrong. But you better be careful. Then uh, pay the price later for that. We got good rockets, a little bit of LG tickle. To secure another frag for the slash. Played by Clue here on the second map. That very strongly looks like Clue is gonna win. It was kind of predictable. He's also the higher seed by far. And here we go. Another frag for our Russian Clue. <laughs> Nick's trying with the gauntlet. Very sneaky. Didn't quite work out. At least he didn't bring a kill. And Nyx is still waiting to go for the gauntlet. Now uses the ghost walk. And what? What? And there's actually a telefrag. Unbelievable. <laughs> Clue got telefragged here by enemy scores. Nice teleporter play. I mean, you don't have to shoot weapons to kill someone. You don't. <laughs> and enemy scores has just proven that. So let's see. Only two minutes thirty left. Eight to two here. And six health left for Clip, and his enemy scores getting another frag on the board. Well done here. Eight to three. I still watch enemy scores once again. I want to see him some more. Let's uh, go. <laughs> Enemy scores leaves up that uh, small armor there accidentally. Does see that slash stretching out her butt as she crouch slides? Right, here we go, some more rockets and. Ah, and here we go, another frag by Gloob. 9-3 now. But yeah, there's actually no chance anymore for enemy scores to win this. Gloob very much overstacked once again. Trying to find each other here. Audio cue was heard, but that's no, actually. No, you don't. <laughs> Enemy scores tried the same thing again to kill her through the teleport, but it's just not gonna happen. We have eight seconds left. <laughs> And there we go. Kloop actually coming in with the gauntlet. Slicing the Nyx to death. And we do have GG's between do these two players. So I can also stop the prediction here. Let's choose an outcome. Kloop has won.